Hello, my name is John Kissel. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic and an associate professor in the Mayo Clinic uh, Alex School of Medicine. Uh, I direct the GI neoplasia interest group at Mayo Clinic and my research area of focus is the development of non-invasive biomarkers to detect cancer in patients before they develop symptoms. Our group has worked extensively to develop and validate the multi-target stool DNA test for colon cancer screening. And about a decade ago, I began a program of research directed at developing a specialized stool DNA test to help our patients with inflammatory bowel disease who are at increased risk of colon cancer. Patients with Crohn's disease of the colon and ulcerative colitis have a cancer risk to the colon about two or three times higher than the general population. And as a result, these patients are asked to undergo colonoscopy for cancer prevention purposes every one to three years. That adds up to an enormous lifetime burden of colonoscopy for each individual patient. If we could detect these cancers non-invasively, such as through a stool test, that would be a major breakthrough in the care of our patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Some of the DNA markers that are used in the multi-target stool DNA test do show up in the colon cancers and precancers of patients who have inflammatory bowel disease. However, the current FDA-approved multi-target stool DNA test commercialized under the brand name Cologuard is not approved for use in this special patient population. In a research collaboration between Mayo Clinic, the University of Oslo in Norway, and the Ibsen patient cohort, a population level collection of patients in Norway with inflammatory bowel disease, our investigative team studied several new markers developed in our lab for use in the non-invasive stool-based detection of colon cancer. Our panel included a new gene that we developed here to use as a housekeeper quality metric, and that gene is also uh, methylated and being developed for use in novel stool DNA-based tests. Our panel included 13 patients with high-grade dysplasia, the highest risk precursor, or cancer of the colon, and over 200 control patients who had inflammatory bowel disease who were at risk of getting colon cancer in the setting of their IBD. Our panel achieved the stool test results achieved remarkable accuracy detecting more than 90% of the cancer or high-grade dysplasia cases while having a false positivity rate of less than 10%. The false positive rate was slightly higher among patients who were men and slightly higher among those that carry comorbid primary sclerosing cholangitis, a liver disease we often see in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. However, the performance characteristics of the test overall make it attractive for development into a specialized test that we hope in the long run will eventually be approved for use in our patients with IBD. Thank you very, very much for your time.